So today we're going to be looking at finding inequalities using inequalities already drawn on a graph and finding inequalities that a shaded region satisfies. So if we want to find inequalities that have been represented on graphs, what we need to do is we need to find the equation of each of the boundary lines and then decide which inequality sign we need to use for those lines. And I think the best way to go about this is to just look at it through an example. So I've got this example here. I need to find the inequality which is represented by the shaded region. So if I zoom in on this, we can see that we've got three lines. So the first thing I need to do is to determine the equation of each line. So let's look at this vertical line first. So it's a vertical line, and I know everywhere along this line, x is equal to 4. So the actual line would be x is equal to 4. I've got a dashed line, so I know that this is going to be a strict inequality. Now let's look at this horizontal line. So I can see that everywhere along this line, y is equal to 1. So this line is going to be y is equal to 1. Again, I've got a dashed line, so I know that this is a strict inequality. Now finally, let's look at this line. So I know that this line is going to be of the form y equals mx plus c, because it's a straight line and it's not horizontal or vertical. So I need to find the gradient and I need to find the y-intercept. Now I know the gradient is rise over run. So if I look at a triangle, I've got the rise here is 1, the run here is 1. So I've got 1 over 1, so the gradient is 1. And if I look at my y-intercept, it goes through the origin, so c is 0. So I know that this is the line y equals x. This is a solid line, so I know it's not a strict inequality. Now I need to decide what the inequalities actually are. So I need to look at where my shaded region is. So my shaded region is above my y equals 1 line. So I know that this inequality is that y is greater than 1. If I look at my x equals 4 line, the shaded region is to the left of this. So all the x values in my region are going to be less than 4. So I know that this inequality is x is less than 4, and I know it's a strict inequality because of the dashed line. Now I need to look at my y equals mx plus c line. So the, probably the best thing to do is to just take a point from my region. So this point is 3, 2. If I put this into my equation y equals x, so I'm going to have 2 is some relationship to 3. Now I know that 2 is less than 3, so I know that this is going to be my inequality, and I know it's not a strict inequality because it's a solid line. So I write down the final inequality that should, y is less than or equal to x. So then my final answer is all the inequalities together, so I've got x is less than 4, y is greater than 1, and y is less than or equal to x. Make it really clear that's my answer. Okay, example 2. So, first thing I need to do is find the equation of each of the lines. So let's go for this line first. So I know it's going to be of the form y equals mx plus c. So I need to find the gradient and the y-intercept. So I can find the gradient using my rise over run. So I draw a triangle, it doesn't matter where. My rise is 1, my run is 1, so it's 1 over 1, which is 1. Now I need my y-intercept. I can see that it crosses the x the y-axis at 2, so my y-intercept is 2, so I know the equation of the line is y equals x plus 2, I know, know it's not a strict inequality, because I have a solid line. Let's look at our second line now, this one. So again, I know I'm going to be of the form y equals mx plus c, 
go for gradient first, that's rise over run. So I know that's one. Again, I could also see that the lines are parallel, so I know that my gradients will be equal. Now I need to find the y-intercept. I can see it goes through the origin, so c is zero, so y is equal to x. Now I can see that my shaded region is above the y equals x line and below the y equals mx plus c line. So I can make an inference as to what I think the inequality is, but I think the best thing to do is take a point and check. So let's take that point. So that point is 1, 2. So if I sub that into my first equation, then I'm going to have 2 is some relationship to 1 plus 2. So 2 is some relationship to 3. Now I know that 2 is less than 3, and I know that this is not a strict inequality. So I know that the inequality for this line is y is less than or equal to x plus 2. Now I'm going to sub it into my equation 2. So I've got y is some relationship to x. So 2 is some relationship to 1. I know that 2 is greater than 1. I know it's a strict inequality. So I know that y must be greater than x. Therefore, my final answer is going to be that y is greater than x and y is less than or equal to x plus 2. I hope you found this video useful and let me know if you have any questions.